Here he comes. Bless you, sir. Now, Master Brooke, you come to know what hath passed between Ford's wife and me. That indeed, Sir John, is my business. Master Brooke, I will not tell you a lie. <clears throat> I was at her house the hour she appointed me. And sped you, sir? Very ill-favouredly, Master Brooke. How so, sir? Did she change her determination? No, Master Brooke. But the peaking Cornuto, her husband, Master Brooke, dwelling in a continual larum of jealousy, comes me in the instant of our encounter. After we had embraced, kissed, protested, <laughs> and as it were spoke the prologue of our comedy. And at his heels, a rabble of his companions, thither provoked and instigated by his distemper, and forsooth to search his house for his wife's love. What? While you were there? <laughs> While I was there! <laughs> 